Hey guys, this is Paul from Mad Dogs, and today we're going to be going over what you need and a how-to of how to do French press coffee brewing. Uh, you can see on the screen a, a few things that you'll need, uh, and I'll show you how to use them in this video. So firstly, we're going to get our coffee and we're going to measure it out. Um, I'm doing about two cups of coffee, um, and my cups range from 15 to 20 grams of coffee. Um, here, I measured out 40 grams of coffee just for, uh, just for show and tell uh, and to show you kind of the, everything in, in, in a bigger picture here. Um, and then what we're going to do is after you measure that out, you're going to put it in your grinder. Um, the grind size that you want for French press coffee is a medium to coarse grind, which is a little bit more coarse than salt. Um, if you do too fine of a grind and have drip brewing um, ground coffee, um, you're going to have it over extracted and it's going to be super bitter. Um, and if you have too coarse ground, like for cold brew, um, it's going to be a little under, under extracted and it's going to taste a little bit too watery. Um, it's going to look about like that. Next, we're going to get our kettle and put it on the, the unit there. Uh, we're going to bring it to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if your kettle or pot doesn't have a temperature gauge on it, um, the rule of thumb is to bring it to a boil and then wait 30 to 45 seconds um, depending on how hot you want to you brew it in, it doesn't really matter there. Um, after that, you're going to want to throw it in, your, you're going to throw your coffee in the French press and then throw your water in there. The ratio for water to coffee is I'm using 1 gram of coffee to 15 grams of water, so that comes out to about 600 grams of water here. Um, once you've done that, you're going to want to stir it around and make sure all that coffee is in that water. Uh, and is being, is being extracted in there um, while we sit and wait on it. We're going to about sit and wait on it for about four to five minutes, depending on how strong you want your coffee. Um, anything less than that, you're going to have a little bit less uh, flavor in there, and, and you can leave it in there for as long as you want, um, just depending on how, how hot or cold you like your coffee or how much body you want. The more you leave it in there, the larger the body and the more flavors you'll have. Um, once you're done with that, you just throw this plunger down, um, and you pour yourself a nice cup of coffee. Um, French press coffee is a full body, kind of uh, very flavorful way of brewing, um, and it should be a good cup every time.